in the fourth example, uh, we're going to see if this map from R2 to R3 is, uh, we're going to figure out what this map is like in terms of the matrix. And so uh, this is a transformation. So the, the fastest way or the one way to find it is to take the map from R2, take the identity, whatever um, the domain is, and see how it maps into the codomain. And so we're going to start with the identity matrix, use the transformation, and see where those go. So the column vector of the identity, the first one, is 1, 0. Under the transformation, you get 1 plus 0, 1, and then 2 times 1 minus 0. So this is the first column. So this is the resulting transformation of the first element of the identity. And the second column is E2, and it goes from 0, 1. And so that's under this transformation, you get 0 plus 1, you get 0, and you get 2 times 0 minus 2. So the transformation here then for the identity gets mapped to under the transformation gets mapped to uh, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, negative 2. Okay, which if you are paying attention, um, that should look very familiar as it is very similar to what we would have expected looking at the coefficients of the um, of the transformation defined. You have 1 and 1 here, 1 and 1, 1 and 0, 1 and 0, and 2 and negative 2, 2 and negative 2. So that's a good indication that you have the correct um, format. And so uh, let's try and check it out and multiply it out just to make sure that we're recovering our actual transformation. So let's multiply 1, 1, 1, 0, 2, negative 2 times x, y. And so this becomes x plus y becomes 1x times 0, so x. And then we have 2x minus 2y, which is indeed exactly RT. Okay, I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.